very well might be true, Maya. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. Last time we directed our pointer finger right at Morgan Fay, and also at all of Any Minnie's horrible testimony. Now Maya might be a little depressed, but who gives a shit? Her aunt is a bitch. We need to convict her. I'm afraid so, Maya. There's no way any could have killed Dr. Gray by herself. And under the circumstances, there's no one else other than your Aunt Mor- Oh, that's... yeah. That... that's terrible. Why would my aunt... Everything is going just as I predicted, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Hello, Francisca. How are you doing? Miss Von Karma. Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? Nick had nothing to do with what happened to your dad. Don't you have something better to be worrying about? Say, your own situation? <clears throat> Looking down on me even though we're the same age. Are you done yet? You've caused me... You've caused me enough pain and suffering. You missed a D there, localization team. You, you had it. You just, you just had one letter that you missed. I'm disappointed. This is a shit game, I don't know why I'm playing it. Not yet. My goal is to defeat you and let the whole world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, it won't bring your father back. <laughs> Whatever. In the meantime, let's bring this match to its conclusion. And then we'll know who the real winner is. You're wrong, baby. Don't you worry. My finger's gonna be pointing at you all day. Court will now reconvene, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Can you prove Miss Any Minnie had a motive? Yes, I believe I can. Any Minnie and Dr. Gray have only one point of connection, and that is the car accident one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be there. Miss Minnie, please I oh, please testify to this court about your car accident last year. Huh? <laughs> I thought like you wanted to like ask about my like motive. I like don't see the point in like bringing up the past. Miss Minnie, if you please. Okay, okay. Like I totally don't think it'll do any good, but I'll do it anyway. I don't want to get thrown out by the bailiff. That was, like, last year in May. Like, something really bad had happened at, like, my sister's clinic around then. And, like, the night of the accident, my sis was totally tired while she was driving. I was, like, totally pooped too, so I, like, fell asleep in the passenger seat. It was a rager, I swear. We had such a good time. I, like, woke up because of a jolt, and, like, it was a sea of flames around me. I, like, opened the door and, like, got away. Hmm, I think I've heard of this incident. It was all the talk on the tabloid shows day after day last year. Yes, and there was talk about Dr. Gray drugging your sister. Those were merely rumors, totally baseless cons uh, gossip. Hmm, yes. Mr. Wright, you may now question the witness. Right now, it's impossible to prove that Dr. Gray did in fact drug Miss Minnie's sister. Yeah, which means I'll have to work this from another angle. Alright, I forgot that I got hurt by Von Karma's whip last time. It was a dark time. Some may say was the dark age of the law. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that either. And like the night of the accident, my sis was totally tired while she was driving. Why? She was totally tired. You mean exhausted. Like, she had to talk to the police and like was being investigated like every day. It was like a totally terrible situation. 
It's no wonder, then, that the car accident happened, huh? We gotta press harder. So then, why didn't you ask to switch places? Huh? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I meant switch drivers. If your sister was so tired, then you should have switched with her. True, true! Shut up, Judge. Okay! Ah, uh, but like, I don't, like, have a driver's license? You, you don't? You fucking liar. I swear to fucking god, I'm tired of your bullshit, Annie. I'm going to show this in your face next time I have a chance. This is news to me. I was not aware you didn't have your license, Miss Minnie. Hmm. Miss Minnie, please amend your testimony. Like, okay. Anyway. I was, like, totally pooped, too, so I, like, fell asleep in the passenger seat. Huh? Oh, there it is. I'm so used to the testimony being added right after they say add it to your fucking testimony. I guess I was spoiled on Dual Destinies and Spirit of Justice. Alright, Minnie. I'm tired of your bullshit. Why are you lying? Ms. Minnie, that was a lame lie just now. <laughs> like, lame? What do you mean? It was not totally radical. Oh, I know you had a license back then. This is a photo you took that for the express purpose of getting a driver's license. Um, what is the meaning of this, Miss Minnie? Uh, um, uh, that's, uh, that's right. Yeah, I had, like, a license, but... But I didn't get it until after the accident. No, you had it. You had it the time. You had it at the time of the accident. Director Hottie, or the guy pretending to be him anyway, said so. What are you talking about? That perverted fake clinic director? Yes, that perverted fake clinic director. And how? Mm. No one cares. I. Uh, I'm pretty sure the gallery does care of Aunt Karma. If they were at least half as active as they are in... If they were at least half as active now as they are in Spirit of Justice, they would care. Witness, when did you receive your driver's license? <laughs> like, last November. What? November? The accident happened last May. That's a half-year lapse in time, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What in the... That's what happened, Mr. Wright! Why are you stuttering, Judge? At the time of the accident, Miss Minnie did not have a driver's license. <clears throat> Cry, and my whip will accommodate. Anyway, without a license, the witness and her sister could not have switched drivers. I'm, like, glad you get it, but, like, even if I had my license, I, like, don't think my sis would have, like, let me drive. Hmm. Don't just stand there humming to yourself. Not you too, Mia. With the whip, and, and the pain, and the ow. Miss Minnie, why do you think you would not have been allowed to drive anyway? Eh, um, that's because... I think the situation calls for a more detailed testimony. Miss Minnie, if you please. Eh, like, how annoying. Oops, like, sorry. Didn't mean to be mean. I bet you totally did. You little devil. Now, like, around that time, I was, like, really close to getting my license. My sis was, like, this totally big fan of cars and, like, really valued them. She, like, had just gotten this really shiny, bright red sports car. She, like, would have said things like, No way am I letting a noob drive my car. So, like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night, too. Noob. Really. It's amazing how much staying par power that word has. Hmm, I see. A bright red sports uh, car for sports. 
Now then, the defense may question the witness. Hmm, I'm not terribly knowledgeable about cars, but something about that was awfully weird. Eh, that's fine. Was she a big fan of cars? I find that weird that a woman would be a fan of cars. Man. It was a new car? Yeah. She had, like, just gotten it. It was, like, from the UK. Hmm, the UK? Was that her boyfriend's initials? Judge, please. What? What is wrong with you? And it was a really special model. She had waited for a whole year for it to arrive. I guess her love of cars would be obvious next topic. But I really don't know anything about cars. But I had a feeling this was bound to come up. Your Honor! Yes! Please append what the witness has just said to her testimony. You mean the part about it being a special car from overseas? Yes. Uh, well, if you like cars that much, then... That's not my point. Though to be honest, I don't know what the point is either. It's just to do it, man. Miss Minnie, would you please fix your testimony? Sure, whatever. Why not? It's a weirdo. My sister's new car was like a totally special model from England. Hmm. Is, is that right? Let's see. Articles about the car accident. May 24th, last late last night, two women's car cra two women's car crashed into a highway center divide. One of the women was not able to escape the flaming wreckage and died at the site. Ongoing investigation has revealed that the driver had fallen asleep at the wheel. Ms. Many Old's interview about crash. I was like really tired and I dropped off to sleep. Then there was this crash and I like woke up in the huge sea of flames. I was like still half asleep but I opened the right door and like got out. I don't like remember anything else. Doctor lurking in the shadows. If Ms. Mini, any Minnie, is to be believed, the one driving the car was her sister, Mimi Minnie. Mimi Minnie was the nurse at Gray Surgical Clinic where 14, hmm. Weird. Weird. Very weird. Objection! Uh, Miss Minnie, do you remember this article? It's an article about the accident. You had said this in it. But I opened the right door and, like, got out. If it was from the UK, she wouldn't have opened the right door. That's correct, isn't it? Like, why are you suddenly asking me about that? Your Honor, which side is the passenger seat, the left or the right? Well, it's on the right side, of course, because the driver's on the left side. That would be if it were an American car, but it would be the opposite in the British car. Opposite? What? Those backwoods weird people over in England and all throughout Europe? The two of them were riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side would be the left side. What do you mean by this? Miss Minnie, you said that you had escaped through the right side door of the car. But if you're sitting there, then that means you're in the driver's seat. Dun dun dun. Order in the court! Mr. Phoenix Wright is blabbering nonsense again. And he said the person who was driving was her older sister, Mimi Minnie. That is what Annie said, yes, but that is where her story falls apart. Somewhere, all of us made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix, it looks like you finally found the real root of this murder. If we connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. I'd like to ask the court a question. Annie or Mimi, who was really driving that night? 
It was actually... Mimi. The answer is the one person who had her driver's license, Mimi Mini. After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. But you just said... The witness, Miss Annie Mammy, was one in the driver's seat. Which leads us to the next question. The next question? Who is the person standing on the witness stand right now? What sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? This is... this witness's name. This witness's name is... I'll tell you what her name is. This witness's real name is... Man, I love presenting profiles. It's amazing. Mimi Mini, that is your real name. Objection. Shut up, Von Karma. Of all the foolish dribble, then how do you explain her appearance? When she was admitted into the hospital, this witness was suffering severe facial burns. So for the purpose of facial reconstruction, they used a picture. Facial reconstruction surgery. This is the picture she gave to her doctors at the time. That's right. It's a picture of her younger sister. But, Mimi Minnie, she died in the car accident. That's what everyone thought. However, that was not the case. Then, the body they found at the crash site. That was the body of the real Any Mimi. Isn't that right, Miss Mimi Mini? What do you gotta say, girly? That car accident one year ago. The one who died that night was Any Mini. Her sister, Mimi, then stole her face and was reborn as any. With this, she effectively erased Mimi Mini from existence. Your Honor, I am sure you can now see why Mimi had to kill Dr. Gray. What do you mean? What is the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of the dead person. Specifically, the spirit of his nurse that died in the crash, Mimi Mini. However, that would not have been possible, because Mimi Mini is, was still, in fact, alive. And that fact would have been discovered had the channeling been conducted. So, this witness had to stop that from happening. At all costs. And... And... And that's why she had to kill Dr. Turner Gray? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Before the channeling, Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting this witness about communicating with the dead. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. Well, Miss M hey, I mean, Miss Vodka, why did you say my name just now? Looks like I've been unmasked. Witness. Oh, don't cry now. That's right. I admit it. My real name is Mimi Minnie. That quack doctor. He got what he deserved in the end. And I was so close to finally ditching Mimi, too. So close. But... But why? Why would you go so far as to throw away yourself? To become your own sister? I think I understand why. Mammy Minnie wanted herself to disappear. Because of this. It was the first newspaper clipping. Take that. That's... That's about the malpractice incident. Dr. Gray was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. A nurse by the name of Mimi Mini. That's right, the person standing before us today. And a few weeks after this mishap, Mimi Mini had a car accident in which she lost her younger sister. 
The timing couldn't have been worse. Fourteen patients dying in that incident and her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. I found a way for myself to escape it all. The only way. She lost everything in the flames of that accident. Her sister, and even her own face. This was her last chance. Her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. Unbelievable! A plan beyond my wildest imagination! That jerk. If only he hadn't thought of that channeling Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo? Becoming any has been the most horrible experience in the world. Spirit channeling, the occult, I hate it. I hate it all. I believe there are still a few unsolved riddles here. Why did you set a murderous revenge plot into motion? And why did Miss Morgan Fay agree to help you with the plan? Regardless, I believe one thing has made crystal clear. The innocence of the defendant, Maya Fay. This... This is preposterous. I... I'm perfect. Me, Francisca Von Karma. I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Miss Von Karma. How about you? It's going to be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. Oh, damn, Phoenix, you smug bastard. That was more than one, Von Karma. Calm down, Tranny. You don't take loss well, do you? Phoenix! Hang in there, Phoenix! Phoenix! This court is a fraud! A sham! This is the same courtroom that allowed me to test to cross-examine a bird. Of course it's a sham. Now well then, it looks like it'll be some time before Mr. Wright regains consciousness, so I will go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Yippee-ki-yay. We did it, Maya. That is all. His court is adjourned. Congratulations, Maya. Sis? It's good to see you, Maya. How are you doing? Sis... I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A really bad dream. You know, Sis... In my dream, I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent. I was inside that clothing box, right? That box... That was the box you used to store your clothes in a long time ago. That's right. It's where we all stored our clothes. Hmm... There's still one thing I don't quite get. What's that? What would have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke in because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi Minnie had planned to open the door to the chamber herself, and then you and Lana would have witnessed a quite a scene. A possessed Maya Faye who had just committed a murder. She had it planned down to the smallest detail, huh? Nick, congrats, Maya. Thanks. Looks like you bailed me out of another jam, and that's not going to stop happening. You are the real goddess of misfortune, woman. Well, you know, but, I really don't want something like this to happen ever again. I'm fine because I have you to help me out, Nick. But every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. First my sister, now my aunt. Hey, Nick. Tell me. Tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible. Why don't she send... She helped Miss Mimi with a plan like that. I just... I just don't understand it, Nick. Maya, it's over. Why don't we just let it be? Nick, please, I need an answer. The reason Morgan helped Mimi with her plan was... It was all... for her daughter. Pearly? 
Four years from now, a new master will be born into Kurain Village. And that person will be you, Maya. And? But if you weren't there, then the main family's bloodline would disappear. And what would happen then? The Branch family? My aunt? No, Morgan's spiritual power is too weak. The next person would be Pearls. Ah. Everything was done for her sake. It was also that Pearls would become the next master. Yeah, I can see that. Did Maya say something just now? I think that she was saying I thought so. My precious Pearl, you are the only one suitable to be the master of Kurain, dear child. I sacrificed it all for you. I helped that brainless nurse carry out a murder, and cooperated with that whip-happy prosecutor. It was all to unseat that annoying, witless main family girl, that Maya Fay. But I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. 